You know, every Christmas, I find it a bit of a challenge fitting in with the diets of friends who are vegan and they don't want dairy or can't have dairy, vegetarian friends, um, or even friends who are celiacs who can't have gluten. So you have to leave all the wheat out of everything. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how to make one of those classics at Christmas, a perfect mince pie. Uh, buttery, rich, crisp, and absolutely free of gluten, free of, of dairy, free of eggs. It's easy to make, and I'll show you how. Now, of course, for the perfect mince pie, you need mince meat, and you can buy your own at Sainsbury's. They're a huge choice, but if you've got the time, you can make your own, and here's how you do it. Take 500 grams of golden fruit, just chop it roughly. It's, it's actually quite nice to get big chunks of fruit in the mincemeat. And actually, I like to add in some dried sour cherries as well, just to flesh it out a bit. And when you've got it looking good, put everything into a bowl. Next up, you need apples. Peeled, cored, and finely chopped, together with some mixed peel. Stir those all together, and you're really starting to get those Christmas flavors. Then add some uh, Valencia orange extract and another great one from Sainsbury's, a really good lemon. And then spices. You can just add mixed spice, but here I'm adding about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, the same of nutmeg and some cloves, maybe about four or five. And finally, 150 grams of brown sugar and then add between 125 to 150 ml of brandy or rum. Next, all you do is stir it together, and if you've got the time, leave it for a week or so for the flavors to taste amazing. If you don't have the time, don't worry, you can use it immediately. Here's some I made a week ago. Mmm, smells really, really good. From this, take a mixing bowl, put in one tablespoon of psyllium husk, the husk makes the water gel and act a little bit like gluten. Makes it so much easier. About 75 ml of water, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a good one. Stir it together and leave it for five minutes. Then into a mixing bowl, add 300 grams of gluten-free flour. I use this one from Dove's Farm. Really good, easy to use. Then add some icing sugar, about 75 grams. Then add a little bit of salt, just helps to bring the flavor out, and some baking powder. Make sure it's gluten-free. This one from Dr. Ertke, again, available at Sainsbury's, is perfect. One teaspoon. Then add something that's like butter. This baking block from Sainsbury's has an incredibly rich uh, buttery flavor, really perfect for uh, a vegan short crust pastry like this one. Then all you need to do is get your hands in and mix it all together into a really smooth, even dough. And once all that's mixed together, you add this psyllium and vanilla mix and mix it all together really, really well. Once it's smooth like this, all you need to do is leave it somewhere cool for 10 minutes, then it's ready to roll. And one good thing about gluten-free pastry is that because it doesn't contain gluten, it means you can roll it and roll it and roll it and it won't come to any harm. All you do is dust the work surface with corn starch, corn flour as we call it in the UK. Then just scoop the dough out onto it, pat it out roughly and begin to roll. And you know, because it's gluten-free pastry, that also means that you don't want it too thin because there's no gluten to hold the tart together. Assembling them couldn't be easier. Cut the discs to go in the base and put those into the tin. Push them down. And then, once you've got these done, scoop in the mincemeat. Be a little bit generous, but not too much liquid. And put the pastry tops on, crimp them together with your fingers, and then, with a fork, press those together. Make two little holes. As soon as they're done, into the oven. About 160 for 20 minutes. As soon as they're ready, get them out of the oven and leave them to cool. And here they are, looking really, really good. All the info you need is on the Sainsbury's Live Well for Less website and all that's left to do is to enjoy them. Take care.